Hello and uh, welcome to today's webinar. I am Sushmit. I'm a product marketer with Zoho Campaigns. And I'm joined by Hariram from Zoho Campaign support team. It's uh, it's thing that uh, we are all working from home nowadays because that is the normal working style now. And like most of you today, I have also tuned into this webinar and I'm conducting it from my home. This webinar is uh, created, keeping in mind that we focus more on how we can help you improve your uh, email marketing while you're working from home. Our main focus will be to see to it that you communicate well during this crisis. Before we begin, as I said that working from home is the new it's, it's kind of the new order of the day. And the physical distances or keeping oneself away from uh, social gatherings or coming face to face with someone shouldn't be hindrances towards uh, practicing a fruitful email marketing. This is the time when we have to understand that how we can uh, level up capabilities in connecting, collaborating and communicating both within the team and also with the people who are uh, customers. So the best thing is to cheer up, stay happy and it's high time that you enjoy your work in this environment because it's just adapting to the new environment, nothing else apart from this. So without further delay, let's move on. Today's topics in focus are anatomy of an email. I'll show you how an email is a collaborative effort of many individuals. I will also talk about email marketing fundamentals that are to be checked during this time specifically, which are the features that will save you more time and will help you increase your efficiency in email marketing. We'll talk about how content and strategies related to content can be used well so that they provide comfort and information to the recipients. I'll also talk about designs or more specifically templates that Zoho campaigns have created so that you can cater to your contacts templates, which are very pertinent to the current situation. Finally, we will go through the main topics once again it's anatomy of an email so we also we all know that uh, email is basically a creative and a strategic result of the collaboration between uh, between the copywriters the designers the testers the marketers and sales professionals i'll show you an image as you can see here that uh, in this template, I have talked about email with now email with determines how an email template is being rendered across different platforms and devices. So it's checked by the tester if the email with is all right or not. The copywriter checks if the words used in the email, the fonts, if they are all right or not, if they resonate well with the people who are receiving it or not. The designer looks into the layout and uh, also the images, the fonts that are used here, the designer suggests how it can be made more aesthetic. Finally, the marketer looks into the engagement strategy and sees uh, where in the template can, can something like a CTA button be placed so that it fetches more engagement and uh, it becomes an interactive, interactive corner for the recipients. And all of them collaborate together in order to bring about something called an email campaign. This is the time when we will understand the importance of collaboration more than ever. Email marketing fundamentals at this point of time say that uh, you should provide content that provides information, right information at the right time to the people because these are uncertain times and uh, uncertainties outside also lead to uncertainties inside. 
so people who are using your product or people who have been um, faithful towards your brand might have some doubts regarding your brand or your product or maybe new users also might have some doubts so what you need to do is you need to provide content which they can read and they will be informed because during this time most of the email marketers will try to provide content that can be read because the recipients will have some extra time with them so that they can go through content which they otherwise wouldn't because of their uh, very busy schedule so now they can accommodate that time in reading something very useful and informative that will help them and what better way to promote it than uh, email marketing because emails will provide your content that uh, proper promotion by sending out uh, the right number of words the proper length of messages and the proper tone in uh, the messages is 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 probably seen and read in uh, in in emails they are not short and uh, very informal like uh, other forms of messages plus they are not very long and uh, very uh, you know very detailed rather they are short they are crisp at the same point of time they provide the right information regarding the campaign and uh, is probably more efficient in forms of promotion but before you send out these emails make sure that you have segmented your lists properly segmentation can be done according to the demographics according to geographical regions according to the positions of the people the designation and so on make sure that any workflow that has been started before before the crisis should be stopped now because people will want to receive content which are very pertinent to the time which are pertinent to the situation as i said that they will want content which are very informative very crisp very to the point and something that solves their doubt readily so you can create workflows and send out um, campaigns and content like those after regular intervals and how will you determine the frequency and the type of content you have to conduct polls and surveys in order to determine and decide as to what kind of content and how often are you going to send them out as you can see integration between a platform like zoho campaigns and zoho meetings is uh, very helpful as it allows uh, you to fetch webinar details if you are conducting a webinar you can also uh, fetch the attendees lists and so on and now we look at features to save time and magnify your efficiency in your email marketing while you are working from home as we were talking about collaboration first and foremost step that is required for collaboration is determination of roles a team consists of many people first i'll show you how you can reach to that place where you can find the roles and privileges yeah so a team consists of many people uh, some are designers some are developers some are marketers and so on and uh, the admin or the person who controls the account has to make it a point that these are the sections or the modules of an account so the admin has to determine which kind of individual is well suited to access create modify delete or export which module from here so let's say a designer has the access to uh, something like uh, library the designer also has the control to uh, delete modify create and export content from there or elements from there that might not be the same uh, controls that are provided to let's say a developer a developer might have uh, access to something like uh, regular advanced campaigns auto responders and so on a marketer will have uh, access to contacts reports social campaigns and workflows and all these so it's in accordance to seeing or rather determining 
the controls these are the controls in accordance to the kind of role that is given to a certain person you can see that the roles are all shown over here you can see it you can uh, if you are the standard admin or the admin or whoever the standard admin or the admin is can uh, add new users and also can create new roles as you can see over here you can add new user you can provide the new users email address the name and you can already select a role for the new user or you can also add a new role you can create a new role just type the name of the role over here and you can add it so this what does this do it allows each and every one to work only in that area which is in his or her forte this stops some uh, miscommunication within the team and also increases efficiency by allowing people to access and work only in the areas which are well suited for them that gives them the that gives them more time rather than um, allowing them to get into each other's work as i said it saves time and multiplies effort and uh, it helps in completing a task without hindering each other's work as you can see in the image next is library and folders as i said that libraries and folders will resonate something that i have already said that is collaboration when we are talking about library we are definitely talking about something that is reminiscent to storing when we are saying something reminiscent to storing we are also inadvertently going into the next aspect of sharing so as you can see here that there is this library which houses images email templates workflow templates form templates and attachments let's say one of your teammates might have used an image in a certain campaign some time back and you need that same image or you need a similar image but during this time when you are working from home so is your colleague you can select the library option and you can go to the images and you can probably select the image that you find is suitable for your campaign and uh, how does this help this helps in a way of collaboration as to when you are not in when you are not close to another colleague or your team members you can still collaborate creatively by taking an image that has been stored by them and using it in a campaign vice versa they can also do the same if you have stored anything in the library say email templates or work workflow templates or form templates or attachments or so on this basically leads to collaboration on a higher degree because uh, as i said that library is uh, very is 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 similar to something like storing and when you are storing something you also have to and you can share it when you are storing something so that is collaboration and collaboration leads to communication so even without being in close contact with each other even without sitting in an office setup you can still collaborate on the creative level as you can see that uh, integration of campaigns account with jiffy big stock unsplash flickr and google photos can help you fetch images from there and put in the campaigns account can create different folders add unique content for future use and what kind of content can you store like thumbnails testimonials gifs images newsletter layouts attachments and form templates as you can see in the image you can also check into the library and you can select some templates that are very pertinent to the time or to the purpose of your email campaign seconds as, as i said you can integrate with jiffy big stock on splash flickr and google photos now let's go to our next feature with the bookmark in editor collaboration is taken to the next level where we will see how this feature enables you or any of your teammates to select certain sections of a template and save them in the inbuilt library in the template editor
and they can be used later. Let's take for instance, let's create a campaign. Let's take uh, this template. Now, how does it help? It helps in a way where uh, these uh, small portions can be used later. Okay, so select a portion of this template and uh, I can uh, delete it. Now in its place, I put a CTA button of choice. I take the drag and drop function and I put a CTA button over here. And uh, the button level should be click save it in the in the inbuilt library that is this one you see the star icon this is the bookmark icon and now you have to name this bookmark this bookmark has to have a name because if someone else wants to use the same bookmark that person can look into the inbuilt library over here and can find the bookmark with the name that is given let's say this bookmark is uh, named as, let's say it's with my name. So now it got saved over here. Now let's begin from the scratch. Let's delete this. Suppose one of your teammates uh, wants to use a CTA and that teammate has deleted the already provided CTA over here and wants to take a CTA and knows that the CTA that was used by you is good and wants to use that particular CTA that you had used. So the teammate goes to this inbuilt uh, library and checks for the CTA that was created by you. And here it is. That teammate finds it, then drags this CTA and places it here. This is what the bookmark in editor does. During these times when uh, you are away from the office and uh, all your teammates along with you are working uh, remotely, these kind of collaborations on smaller elements in a template or in the email campaign, these are very effective. And uh, the bookmark function, it actually does the same thing as a library and uh, folders. It stores, it allows you to share or the teammate who has created the element allows that person to share and then implement. So storing, sharing and implementing. This is very important when you're working from home. As I said, as you can see in the image, it's here. Now let's go to the next feature. The next feature talks about uploading of HTML and importing content. Now in a team, you know that uh, there are some people who will work on uh, a HTML code and that can be seen as an email campaign later on. So what can be done is uh, Zoho campaigns will allow you or your teammate, whoever has uh, worked on a HTML code allows you to uh, upload such codes and also image files in the template editor directly. And uh, you can do this by uh, fetching the content from both our in-house, that is Zoho work drive and uh, other external cloud platforms. So you can uh, fetch it from both uh, Zoho work drive, the cloud platform, and also you can fetch it from some other external cloud platform as well. As you can see it, this is while creating a campaign. You can uh, upload or drag and drop your HTML file over here, or it can be a zip file. It's up to the kind of file that you or your teammate has worked on. This also gives the aspect of collaboration a meaning, saying that it's a team effort when it comes to an email. Next is the marketing calendar. 
let's go to the marketing calendar section and I'll show you how you can use it and how it's useful for you. You can select marketing calendar from this top right corner of your of your dashboard. As you can see, this is a marketing calendar. This marketing calendar can be accessed by your teammates. You can also access it. And uh, this basically allows you to stay updated with the developments or the progress of the campaigns that your teammates are doing, or maybe they can be updated by knowing the progress of your campaigns. So here in green, you can see the campaigns are there. The holidays are marked in violet. This gives you an idea about which campaign is in the pipeline, which ones are scheduled and which one are in progress. If you want to mark a day, for yourself and you want to use it as a reminder, you can also do that. You can click on that day and you can put in a title. You can put in the credentials of the people you want to share it with. You can also add an action, set it as a reminder for your reference, or you can also set it as a reminder for a campaign creation. That particular day you will get notification that you have to create a campaign. And after you do that, your campaign will also feature in this calendar, giving everyone else an idea as to your campaign is there in the pipeline and it is in progress or is scheduled. This allows uh, proper communication within teammates who are working far away from each other, especially during these days. Uh, you want to know what is the status of the other campaigns. They also want to know the status of each and every campaign. With this calendar, you can effectively and swiftly give this information to the others and exchange these information among yourselves in the team without any hassle. As you can see in the image. Content review and approval. Why is content review and approval very important during these days? First, I'll show you where you can access campaign uh, content review and approval. You have to go to settings under campaign policy. You have to select content approval. And here you will find that there are uh, two sections provided. These are uh, for the people or the users who do not need approval. And this one will contain the credentials of the people who need approval in the group. And you can uh, place uh, each credential in a separate uh, or in the other group or in the other section by clicking on these buttons. Now, why is content review and approval so important? Content review is important because uh, as I told you that uh, this is the time when most of the email marketers will try to look towards sending email campaigns and content that is very informative and uh, helpful to the people. So there will be a lot of content that will go out. But to maintain the proper tone and the right uh, words is something that is very important now. So in content review and approval, you will see that uh, the content which resonates well with your teammates and the content which is uh, well accepted by your teammates will also be the content that is uh, expected to resonate well with the people outside. It has to be sensitive. It has to be very, um, very motivating. It has to have empathy. All these factors need to be there and only that content which resonates with the message of your organization and the current situation and will resonate well with the people should be reviewed and approved for uh, to be sent out to the recipients. Because creating, um, you know, kind of creating uh, that uh, belief among people at this point of time is very important. As I showed you, this is the image. The next we'll go to is uh, the next point is campaign policy. Now campaign policy is also a very important factor now because uh, when we are working away uh, from the office, when you are working at home, we will also be acquainted with the sending pattern of the team. Like when you are away and when you have to uh, 
um, work away from the office, specifically in a situation like this, you need to know what is the sending pattern of your team, how often you send campaigns, what is the interval. So you have to go to settings and from there you will have to go to the option or the feature called uh, email limits, click there. And as you see, it's it has an email sending policy with uh, weekly email limits, monthly email limits, intervals between each emails and so on. You can edit it. And uh, this is basically based on two factors. One is uh, consistency in sending emails. And two, that consistency should be based on the behavioral pattern of the people who are receiving it. Now, let's say you send emails twice a week. Suddenly you start sending email thrice a week. You might not fetch expected engagement with the third email that is not sent on days on which you usually send emails. Let's say you send two emails on Tuesday and Thursday. You send a third email on Friday. People might not read that third email that you send on Friday because they're habituated in receiving emails from you on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That same habit has to be uh, taken care of properly and should be understood because if people want to read your messages, they will have already created a pattern by which they will receive your emails. So make sure that you send your emails in accordance to that pattern so that uh, your emails are read properly, specifically during these days when many email marketers will send content and uh, the recipients will have enough time to read it. So just make sure that your email doesn't get lost among those many emails. So make sure you maintain a healthy sending limit and uh, don't end up flooding the inboxes of your recipients. As I said, that quarantine provides enough time for the people to read and uh, you shouldn't flood the inboxes of your recipients because that might lead to uh, soft bounces, which again is another problem. So you have to draw a line and ensure that none of your teammates cross that sending limit. This amount of uh, consistency is only achieved with a proper sense of uh, consultation and communication. As in the image, as you can see here. The next feature is metrics and lists export. Now, when I was talking about collaboration till now, I was talking about collaboration on the levels of creativity when the email is being created. Now let's talk about collaboration when the email is not created and the email has been created and sent out. So lists can be exported. Let's say you have a list with yourself. And that has been uh, very engaging or highly engaging when you have sent emails. Now, one fine day, you cannot send emails because you might be stuck up with some work. And you can share that list with one of your teammates or some teammates, and they can send the email campaign on behalf of the organization. This sense of collaboration is only achieved if you are properly collaborating. Now, why metrics can be shared? because uh, results of one or some campaigns can be evaluated and decisions can be taken regarding the future campaigns to be sent out. So in this case, uh, you can share your uh, um, metrics or your statistics of your email campaigns, the results, vice versa, your teammates can also share it with you. A healthy sharing of such results can uh, allow everyone in the team to properly give feedback and uh, reach a consensus as to how the next set of campaigns or the next set of actions should be taken. The collaboration in these two cases, in case of lists and in case of reports, ensures that there is no dearth of communication within the team from the beginning to the end of an email campaign. Because this is a cycle, so the collaboration is also cyclic in this manner, as I showed in the image. Next is internal notification. Now, internal notification is a feature that is uh, available in the workflows. Let's say I am taking this workflow with internal notification. You can effectively bridge the gap between two, uh, two teams, maybe uh, marketing and sales team. Let's say this is your workflow and uh, you allow people to enter the workflow by different processes. And uh, it is very obvious that by the end of the workflow, 
a certain set of people will show favorable signs and some will want to exit the workflow. The ones who want to exit the workflow, you can allow them to exit the workflow without sending any more emails or any more SMS campaigns to them. While you're doing this, uh, you can also engage with them later on when you see when when you when you think that it's a proper time. But the ones which actually show a favorable sign of turning into or rather you know or or becoming prospective leads, you can uh, go for this internal notification email. By this, what you can do is. You can send, uh, you can you can notify uh, members of the other teams with which you collaborate about a certain set of people or a certain person regarding their their development in the particular stage in a workflow. You can put in a subject, you can put in an email and a content, and you can notify the workflow owner or CRM owner as per how you feel it's necessary. So this actually bridges the gap between two teams and makes it. A point that uh, collaboration can effectively be carried out from one team to another team. After all, an organization is an umbrella where different teams are housed. With this, we will move on to our uh, next feature. Our next feature talks about mobile apps and Apple TV. Mobile apps, uh, why this feature is handy during this time, it's because uh, you see many of the people might have been stranded in places where they don't have proper internet connectivity or they might not have desktops and laptops near them so they can uh, act they can use uh, zoho campaigns uh, mobile app and can continue their email marketing seamlessly which is very useful during these times and uh, the email marketing irrespective of some uh, obstacles can still continue effectively with the mobile apps which offers you the much needed uh, portability continuing your email marketing works in case of apple tv as i said before that uh, you can share reports and metrics with apple tv you can do the same with apple tv you can uh, share uh, metrics and reports you can do that by sharing uh, uh, graphics and images as you can see here um, it shows uh, the report of an email in accordance to the engagement as per the geographical locations you don't need to be in a conference room or you don't need to be in a face to face uh, meeting you can uh, connect with everyone via apple tv and uh, take everyone's feedback or share feedbacks regarding uh, the results of campaigns and decide on the future campaigns or how you want to go about with the other set of campaigns later on during this time this is collaboration in a grander aspect while you're working from home. Next we'll talk about is content, but we won't uh, strictly uh, restrict ourselves to content alone. We will also talk about uh, some other factors which are associated to content. As you can see that uh, during this time, you have to put an appropriate subject line because your subject line creates the curiosity among the recipients whether they want to read it or not your content should contain should contain empathy because uh, if it is compassionate it will resonate with the time and the situation you should keep the content simple because this is the time when people will want to receive something and read and get information so keep it simple so that they can read it simply you should be timely in your campaign execution as i said that you should uh, always maintain a proper time and uh, a proper sending time should be essential in this case because people will expect your campaigns to be read at a certain point of time regulate workflows make sure that the workflows that have already been begun before uh, the present scenario are stopped and new workflows workflows which are apt for the situation are created and started mass sending and personalization you have to cover as many regions as possible reach out to as many people as possible at the same point of time try to make it a point that uh, you will reach out to them in such a way that it feels that you are talking to them and it's a one-to-one -one conversation be ready to reply because these are uncertain times people will have some doubts regarding 
your product or your brand so make sure that you reach out to them and solve their problems at the earliest and you should be patient at this point of time to evaluate engagement because people have a lot to read and they will read so give them some time to read and only after that evaluate the results of your campaign why subject line is appropriate i'll show it to you much before an email is actually opened uh, in the inbox the subject line the sender name and the preheader are visible so make sure that all these three aspects are accurate it shouldn't be ambiguous it should be clear it should be simple it should be precise in the sender name you can provide your name if possible as i said your name can be provided for brand recognition and a human name also makes the recipient want to send feedback that human aspect is very important your subject line should mention what is about the purpose of the email very clearly and that should be an incentive for the recipient to open the email and read it there should be empathy in your content the next point says that you have to have compassion for the people whom you are writing it to you are sending out the campaign to the email campaign your brand should be should 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 be considered as a dependable brand because uh, your work at this point of time is to provide assurance to the people to motivate them so what you should do is you should try to be serious that is don't maintain a jovialty uh, tone during this time try to be serious in your approach be empathetic try to provide compassion as much as possible because the situation requires compassion you have to be sensitive because uh, this is a time when you unnecessarily don't want to uh, put content in your uh, campaigns that might not uh, resonate well with the others you need to be positive and also need to motivate the others by showing the bright sides and also making them realize that there is light at the end of the tunnel and if they are facing any doubt regarding your uh, product or your uh, Uh, or your brand you are there to help them out any time and also be humble because many people are working from home so it might be the case that some or say a few might not be in a situation to give out their best so you shouldn't boast about your organization or or your work rather you should maintain a very subtle tone and say that yes you are there to deliver you are there to perform but you are there to deliver and perform for the betterment of your customers and your contacts so they are also assured at the end of the day so that they can also trust your brand the next point talks about simplicity uh, keep the content simple because uh, this is the time when you will want to send out message rather than sending out flashy images fonts and gifs it's your work to connect with the people properly and send them the information that they need at that point of time and also make it a point that uh, use simple you use simplicity in your email so that they are rendered properly and uh, much of the loading time can be saved and also don't provide many actionable elements in your email now because people will want their doubts to be solved rather than they will want to join for some uh, new plan or something maybe so it's 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 good it's it's uh, it's good if you can provide informative content rather than actionable elements like ctas and as you can see serif font and sans serif font these are very normal and simple looking fonts so you can go with them rather than trying very rather than trying to put in these uh, informal and uh, you know jovial fonts like display and handwriting serif and sans serif fonts uh, they are simple they are easily read and they are associated to a serious tone so it's good to go with simpler fonts and simpler elements in your email during this time you need to be timely in executing your campaigns because uh, this is a time when you need to plan out and send your campaigns at the right time it's because uh, as you have as you have heard as i've said that you you have maintained a uniform sending pattern so make it a point that uh, you don't uh, become untimely and disrupt that sending pattern because these are anxious times outside and people might uh, have some doubts regarding your content and they will be expecting a certain content from you which helps them or solves their problem this might be a content that they have wanted to receive from you by giving their choices in a feedback or uh, in a poll campaign or a survey campaign so if they if they are waiting for a content like that you need to timely send it out to them and make it a point that it is effective 
So you need to maintain a consistent sending time. You need to be very timely when you're replying to them. And uh, you can cancel all activities which are pending during this time. As I said earlier, also, you have to regulate your workflows. You have to reevaluate on the workflows that are created prior to the crisis. Those workflows which have been created before can be paused now. A new and unique content can be created and they can be put in the new workflows, which people will receive after regular intervals. Mass sending. Now, it's your. Uh, it, it, it should be your uh, objective to reach out as many people possible during this time, because uh, the more number of people you reach out, the more number of readers and recipients you will get, and the more number of people will show interest towards your brand and your product. For this, in order to reach out more people and still churn out unique content, you need to segment them properly with the lists, and you need to also practice personalization. You can use merge tags and dynamic content to personalize your uh, your email content. And uh, along with that, make it a point that uh, the merge tags and the dynamic content used resonates with the tastes and preferences and, uh, the, uh, and the identity of the recipient. For example, in a merge tag, if someone reads uh, an, an email with his or her first name, that will make the, the the recipient or the reader very happy. And if the content happens to be uh, very, uh, you know, conducive to their tastes and preferences, then they will want more content from you, more such uh, emails from you. You have to be ready to reply. The uncertainties now will uh, give doubts to people because uh, people are working from home. So it's natural that you will also face some problems while working from home. And it's also natural that your recipients might also face problems while working from home. Now, the thing is, uh, since you want uh, to provide them content, make sure that your content resolves their doubts, the doubts that they're having while working from home. Only then will they show any kind of interest in receiving more content from you. And thus, they will consider your brand to be a trustworthy brand and a trust that is created at this point of time is sure to last long. These are the times when you shouldn't expect engagement very readily. Give the time to the people to read and then get back to you. This is the time when all the email marketers will send out emails, hoping that there is quite some reading time with the people. This is the case where uh, the email uh, inboxes might get flooded. So you might expect your recipients to read the email at a certain point of time, but they might not read it then. But uh, given in accordance to that, don't reach a conclusion thinking that they might not read it. They might read it. Maybe they might read it later because just like I said that there, there are chances that they can have some extra reading time. So give your email campaign some time and then only reflect on the, the engagement and reach a conclusion and take decisions regarding the future campaigns. Now I'll talk about designs. As I said, regarding designs, I will say is that uh, Zoho campaigns has created some special templates which are pertinent to the time. First, I'll show an image, images of the templates. As you can see that these are the templates and uh, this is how it these templates will render across different platforms and devices. Uh, these templates are created, keeping in mind the safety requirements that are uh, needed at this point of time. As I said that you have to practice simplicity with your emails. These email templates too are very simple with easy fonts and designs and the layouts are also kept very simple. A non heavy HTML look allows these templates to be rendered properly and easily across platforms and devices. Now we will come to this section where we will wrap up with the most important points that we need to take a look at. So first and foremost, you can go ahead and uh, provide content to your uh, contacts, which are very informative, which are very uh, uh, essential for them at this point of time. A decision, uh, second point says the decision regarding the roles and privileges allows for easy collaboration within the team and uh, that will 
lead to a swift creation of an email campaign sharing or other storing and sharing it begins with libraries and folders the same can be repeated with bookmarks in case of uh, smaller elements in a template your teammates can upload html codes and import and import uh, content for smooth functioning with uh, the campaign calendar or the email calendar uh, you can uh, be updated regarding the different campaigns that are in the pipeline and you can also keep the other teammates updated regarding your campaign progress send out only those campaigns which are reviewed and which are approved because uh, this is the time when your content needs to resonate well with the people it has to be sensitive it has to be motivating and it has to have a certain amount of seriousness with campaign policy you can have a uniform sending pattern don't disrupt it because uh, people will want to receive your content at a time which is suitable for them and they have been receiving it you can let the others gauge about your campaign reports and you can also give your feedback regarding the campaign reports of the other teammates this will allow for swift collaboration and decision making regarding the next set of campaigns that are supposed to go out you can access zoho campaigns anytime with the mobile app and uh, you can also save some necessary uh, internet at this point of time and collaborate effortlessly while working remotely using apple tv app so that all of you can take prompt decisions regarding how the next set of campaigns or next set of actions are to be taken with this we have come to the end of our uh, webinar you can write back to us this is my email id sushmit.s@zohocorp.com you can also write to our uh, uh, support team it's support at the rate zoho campaigns.com as you can see we also have active social media handles so if you have any questions you can write to us over here thank you all for attending the webinar thank you so much